hello again and welcome back ladies and gentlemen cardboard crawlers of all nations thanks for joining me today for a tiny uh, garage session we are in the cardboard crawlers garage and uh, we have some rigs to work on here we are going to be working on the gladiator right now we're doing a rear hinge assembly uh, flat tab replacement that big flat tab that is right next to the screws that I'm taking out um, the little ears on it uh, I was doing some work on this rig the other day uh, trying to do some lights rock lights on it and the little ears on that tab are all messed up you know I've had some people driving it recently I've driven this thing tons of hours I'm pointing out here that you definitely want to unscrew um, the two. I have an LCG kit in this, so the two screws holding your rear uh, tray in should be loosened if, you, if you're trying to work with these little tabbed um, areas here. See how the, it's all cracked and broken there. Anyway, kind of a bummer. Um, not a big deal. It ended up being only a $13 part, and it's a pretty nice part. I mean, they... The CNC machining, like this stuff is like exact replica of this plastic and made from, you know, aluminum. Who who knows how high of quality? What am I going to do? Chuck this thing off a roof and hope that it survives? No, I'm just going to be out wheeling it. And if this aluminum fails, I bet I'd, you'd break a bolt, a stainless steel nut, you know, Allen head before you had this aluminum fail. It's super nice. Not only that, it's a two-part system. So this flat piece, you know, if you have a Gladiator, you know what this is. Anyway, that's just the flimsiest of flimsy plastic. And you see the little rib in the middle? That's the only thing that they didn't 3D print or that they didn't CNC machine into the uh, aluminum one. And the I think this is a Amazon number. It's... X zero zero three C eight W Z three X, and that will get you this generic aluminum part. It seems to be, you know, I mean, of of about the same quality of, of anything else. You'd pay nineteen dollars for a trio one, and I paid thirteen dollars for this one. And the trio one didn't. I don't think it said trio anywhere that you can read it. Like it has this embossed. Uh, system of lines on it just like the the 3d printed one or the uh, plastic one does the stock one and i mean it, it's a dead match except for the little ridge in the uh, the little rib in the middle there the little truss but truss and a uh, nuss i mean it didn't even, it doesn't work so um remembering that i need loctite so uh reaching for the loctite and um or threadlock matt harris thank you very much and uh, you know it's all about just like feeling these screws like you got a hole it's so tiny but it's just like working on a one-to-one -one, you know sometimes you get your finger in there and you just gotta find you just work work it until you get everything lined up and it all slips into place and then you get your driver and torque wrench out and torque it home taf you know what i'm saying and that is what it is, you know. Remember, if you like any of my content, this content, the crawling that I mainly do, um, please like my stuff. Uh, tell me in the comments that you enjoy it, that you have a good time, or that you don't, that you actually can't even stand it, and please shut your mouth. But, you know, like, I take them all. Comments, good, bad, otherwise, whatever, man, bring it. Um, so, yeah, just replacing this little flapper and like i said this is a two-piece system the part that's behind it that actually attach it's like the interior brace for the bumper um i have that in aluminum as well but i'm gonna let this plastic piece be the failure point and if i have a problem with that then i'll put the new aluminum one in that i have in my parts bin now but this part was the part that was broken and that I'm just replacing today. So, 
she's looking good. Got everything uh, locked tight at, uh, or thread locked up that is going to go threads to metal now because they're replacing a plastic part with a metal part. So we must put thread lock on it so that everything works and stays in position otherwise i mean other than like wheel nuts like the 16 or 15 wheel nuts you're putting on a set of uh, bead locks like especially scale hardware and whatnot you may not need a thread lock on that but anything like on chassis and this kind of stuff it's taking the bang and taking the boom it doesn't have 16 other or it doesn't have 15 or 14 other brothers and sisters helping hold it in you know one and a half thumbs up um, so yeah, the Grizzly Works LCG'd out Gladiator recovery vehicle, getting some love, getting a part that it desperately needed that I didn't even know it desperately needed. Um, so that's really nice to have something put in there that I know gives it a lot of strength and will give it a lot of play time for years to come. Like when I think about it, like I think about it, these toys, they're so high quality they're going to last for a long, long time, you know, have nieces and nephews and grand nephews and their kids and who knows, you know, whatever. Might sell them at a garage sale. Cardboard crawlers out. 